Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to start uh, where we left off, to have taking some of the formatting away, and I want to show you a formula that's unique to pivot tables called Get Pivot Data. First time you see it, it looks pretty long, and complicated, but there's a place for it and a way to use it that I hope you'll uh, understand a little better after watching today's video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here. I've got my pivot table field list back. And I want to take the count of claims away. So I'm only looking at the dollar amount of these claims. And then let's hide the field list. And let's assume what I want to do is if I come over here, let's assume that I want to know what percentage of my receivables are in Hilo. So typically what you do in Excel is you do equals, you do over, and you that and you divide by down here and you hit return and it's 21.8 percent we can format that and make it look a little better and it's good to go the if you look at the formula it looks kind of complicated and if you try to copy the formula down it's all 21.9 so clearly something's going on here and let's see if i can explain what what's going on if you look at the formula right here the formula is get pivot data and then it says take the balance field and the balance again is what we're summing in here and then the next area is A10 is just a cell this A10 happens to be a cell in the pivot table and then it says take the location kilo for the balance which happens to be this and then divide that by get pivot table and take the balance overall balance from the pivot table in A10 it's a fairly complicated convoluted formula, but the reason you'd want to use get pivot data is let's assume that the data is moving. Again, what we want is the percentage of Hilo to the grand total. If we were to sort this, normally you'd be in trouble in Excel if you sorted it because now Hilo is down at the bottom, but it's still looking at location Hilo against the balance. If you come over here and you sort Something different. Now Hilo is number two. Now Hilo is number four. And he, as Hilo moves around, I'm still focused with this formula on the total amount of Hilo divided by the balance. Now you may say, well, what happens if I only look at over 120 days? Now you'll see 19.8 is still over here, but it's not 21.9 anymore. Because now what the formula is doing is it's taking kilo here as a percentage of the total balance there but only for what is displayed in the pivot table and so if we come back and we do those just for the sake of argument now I'm at 21.8 if I add well let's just do them all now I'm back to 21.9 of what's displayed if I come over here and I take away well you know let's take away everything but Hilo it's going to be a hundred percent what's just Hilo is 100% of what's displayed. And if we bring back, let's just bring back Lihue and Kona, and now it's 37.1. The thing to use get pivot data for is when you want to lock in on a given cell as a percentage of the total. And no matter how things, let's come over here, no matter where Hilo moves, it's still focused on this divided by that. Now, what well, you say that's all fine and good. What if I've got everybody back? What if something changes? Let's bring my field list back for a minute. What if I add something to the pivot table? Now let's come back over here. It's got a reference because now Hilo, as a percentage of the total, well, there's lots of components of Hilo and it, it's not certain which one you want. So it's giving you this reference error. If you come back and we put this back and we're back to 21.9. If location goes away, again, I've got a reference error because it doesn't know what to do. If I move aging away, that's not going to change things. I'm still looking at Hilo as a percentage of the total. And this 21.9 is still out there, even though Hilo's over here. Notice, you know, if I sort Hilo, let's sort. Now Hilo's at the bottom, but this cell hasn't moved. It's, it's locked in on Hilo as a percentage of the total, but it's not moving up and down the way 
that the actual label and the data are. This cell is locked in no matter what. And so if you want a, if you want get pivot table, get pivot data to focus on one cell no matter where it moves, as long as it's in the, the pivot table and nothing changes. Obviously, if this goes away, that has no idea what to do. And you can put doctor down and let's put aging back over. It's going to have no idea what to do because it can't find Hilo. But if we come back over, where is location? We put that back and the 21.9 is back. So get pivot data again, locking in on a specific balance. Balance is what, if you look over here, balance is what the value in this table. And what get pivot data is, is doing, let's come over here so you can see it again, looking at the balance field in, a, here's a cell that's in the pivot table. I want to know where the location's helo divided by the total balance, and that will always point to that cell. If it's in the pivot table, well, as soon as it's out of the pivot table, as soon as there's more information on the helo side, it will go to reference. But as long as you're showing that field, it's a great way to lock in specifically on one cell. And that, and that there's a use for it and it's great, but when you want to copy the formula down, when you want to look at multiple cells, then get pivot data isn't helpful. And there's a workaround to that, and I'll explain that in the next lecture. Hope you found that helpful. Thanks for watching.